Okay, so I'm just continuing the sphere here, working on just softening some edges. I need to build towards my highlight. So I'm starting to add more white to my paint again. Let's see, so my highlight's right there. Just gonna slowly build it. Don't let the painting get out of hand. And I got a, another rough edge and I'm gonna work on just smoothing that out again. Again, I just get the paint out of my brush. Just work on blending it. When I look at these, what I'm looking for is that I should be able to identify easily your core shadow, your reflected light, your highlight, um, cast shadow, etc. All those parts of light and shadow, I'm looking for those. Easy to identify. Let's see. Oh, a little too white. Uh, let's tone it down. Slowly sneaking up to the highlight. It's my whitest white, that highlight. I'm slowly sneaking up to it. Okay. See, I'm going to lighten up this uh, reflected light just a hair. Just a hair. Remember, it's slightly darker than your half tone. And I need to blend this still a little bit more. You don't want your sphere. Um, to be too separated. Those soft edges are important. I'm going to show another example. If I can find it. Here it is. Nope. Well, here's, here's one. Um, this is jumping too much. Way too much jumping. Like I can see core shadow, reflected light, highlight, etc. But way too much jumping. You want to have that blend. Okay, I'm getting to a point where I need to start tightening it up. I have a really rough edge right here and I want to really clean it up. I can move to a smaller size brush to help do that. Um, let's see. But now I need to have a nice sharp edge. There's a nice sharp edge happening between the sphere and that background. And this is when I, you know, start going a little slower more methodical, thinking about what you're doing. I need to add more layers on this background over here. So I don't care. Yeah, you don't need to have this whole canvas pa piece of canvas painted with this exercise. But you do need to have enough background like this. Just so you can get those edges in. I have a nice sharp edge going from my sphere to the background. Pay attention to your corners where there's a lot of overlapping, like right here. Make sure those are clean. Those corners do matter. Make it clean. And I might need to graduate here into a slightly smaller brush to do that.
Okay. Paying attention to my edges. Overlapping is kind of messy right there. I really need to clean that up. And as I start going on, I can start applying a little bit more thicker paint as I go. Maybe add more medium too if I want to. Anyways, um, so I have a final product of what it should look like. Here's one. And um, again, you don't need to paint for the whole, uh, cover the whole thing. Looking for those soft edges, sharp edges, parts of light and shadow. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And how that will be graded is also in your book for you guys to look at. So anyways, I'm gonna stop the video here. Um, I probably can still keep on working on this, cleaning it up, but we kind of got the basics down. And I probably could if I want to continue sneaking up on that highlight as I'm, I'm working and analyzing my values, you know, like how dark is this value when I look at this one, comparing it to the background or to the reflected light, you know, on those edges of values. All right, enjoy.